Hi, I'm Rod Singh, a support engineer from the Blackmagic Design Singapore office. In this video, I'll be showing you how to customize subtitles as well as save them as presets. Starting from DaVinci Resolve 18.1, you are able to save your subtitle settings as presets. This means you can use the same subtitle settings across different projects and even share them with other people in your team. Let's take a look at how it works. Here I have a project with subtitles already in place, but I want to make changes to how the subtitle looks as well as its positioning. To do that, I can click on the subtitle track, which will open the inspector to the subtitle window. Click on track, and that's where I can change all the different parameters for the track itself. So I'm just going to change the font face and the font and make it slightly smaller and also move it slightly lower. When I have a setting that I like, what I can do is I can save this setting as a preset. And to do that, I just need to go to the top right three dot menu and click save track as preset. Let me just give it a name. And click on OK. If I want to share this preset with other members of my team, I can go back to the three dot menu, mouse over on the subtitle preset and choose to export preset. A dialog window comes up and I can choose where to save this. I'm just going to save this on the desktop. Let me switch to a different timeline to show you how to import a preset you receive from someone else. So in this timeline, what happens is there's a different resolution. So I would want to use a subtitle with a different setting so that it fits better in this resolution itself. To import a preset file, simply click on the subtitle track go back to the three dot menu and choose import preset. This is the preset that I previously received and let's go to choose open. Save the preset name and click on OK. After that, I will need to apply it onto the track itself so I can go back to the three dot menu, mouse over the new preset that I just imported and click on load preset. So you can see the preset the subtitle has changed and if I go to track, you can see that the font and the font face are all different and I have taken their properties from the preset settings themselves. Now DaVinci Resolve 18.1 has also made improvements on how customizing subtitles work. So let's say I have a subtitle that I want to customize and I can just go to select the subtitle and go to caption and click on customize caption. Let's change the color for some of the words in these subtitles. I'm just going to select the words that I want to change the color and click on the color field. Choose the color that I want to change it to and click OK. I hope this video has been helpful in showing you how you can easily customize your subtitles as well as save them as presets. For more information, please visit our website blackmagicdesign.com.